the lovely humidity and the rain. Well, if any of you are wondering what's going on with that post today of helping someone get back to Victoria, BC, here's the story. I started getting emails about two or three days ago about somebody who was stranded in Texas. Come to find out it's a couch surfer through couchsurfing.org. Never met the person, but people that I know that are involved with couch surfing, they start emailing me, telling me the story. Long story short, Older lady, 65 years old, stuck in Dallas. She was supposed to fly back from the Cayman Islands to Victoria, BC on Friday. The rainstorm happened. She got delayed in Houston. They ended up busing them to DFW. And while on that bus, somebody steals her purse. It has all of her IDs on it, all of her money, credit cards, cash, passport, you name it. So, I finally get a call from the lady herself today. It's Monday, the 22nd. And lo and behold, the story is true. So I stopped what I was doing and I went and helped. We got her to the consulate. We got her photos taken for the photo IDs. We got her lunch. We got her situated here and there. She was very, very appreciative. And she's gonna get to fly back home on Wednesday morning to Vancouver and catch the little ferry and go over to Victoria and be back home again. Her daughter has been wiring her money. She never asked for any money. In fact, she paid for my gas. She paid for my lunch. She paid for my bus ticket in Dallas and never once asked for any money, just asked for help. Just how do I get to and from and to these various places where I can be back on my way in to Canada. Luckily, the Canadian government, the consulate in Dallas, believes her story and we were able to send quite a bit of information through conversations, phone calls, emails, everything about the truth to her story. So, that's the story, it's what I did today. Tomorrow we go back to the consulate to get her passport, hopefully, or at least some documentation to prove who she is to get on a plane and head back to Vancouver to go back home to Victoria. This is yet another Canadian friend that I've made along the way and I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be a good friendship. She's 65 years old. Her name is Karen Gould, a sweet, sweet woman. If you get a chance out there, put good out in the world. Put good out in the world. It comes back to us in very good ways. Take care, everybody. It's August 22nd, 2016. This is Nathan. And I'm calling it a day. I'm tired.